It's the in-between, in between 100 solar masses and let's say 100,000 solar masses where there's very little evidence um, for black holes because they're really hard to see. Uh, but we have seen the first one um, in gravitational waves uh, with this event, which we call TW 1905-21. What time did you do the first time an intermediate mass black hole had ever been directly observed? This event that we've detected, um, the merger happened about seven billion years ago in a galaxy very, very far, far away. So we only just detected it last year and it was a bang <laughs> and a very, very energetic bang. Uh, the one we just uh, that we're announcing today is um, 85 solar masses on 65 solar masses. So they're both pretty big black holes. And as they orbit, they make that chirp, but it's much lower frequency. And it sounds like, boom. that's it. <laughs> boom. Just a thud, or if you like, a bang. So by learning about the most massive stars and using black holes to tell us about them, we are learning about the origin of us.